They were once two wonderful gentlemen. One was the David Edelman. He was a shliach in Springfield. And one was the Yehuda Tzvi, the Beherschel Fogelman. He was a shliach in Wooster. They were shluchim, still from the previous Rebbe. And they were meritorious to see a lot of success in their work, to see schools that they have built, Bate Chabad that they have built, wonderful families that they had, and long years that they had. And this story goes back when they were both Bochlim in the 1940s, and they were standing and talking in 770. It's the room where the Rebbe would give out dollars. And then the elevator door opens. Out of the elevator comes out the Rebbe himself. The Rebbe went up to his father-in-law on the second floor, and now the Rebbe is coming down. And when the Rebbe saw them, the Rebbe said to them, oh, do you want to hear um, a fresh uh, thought, a warm, fresh thought from my Shved for my father-in-law. Of course, they said yes. And the Rebbe told them that in shul, the same people who come in who are not observant. Some are not observant by their own will, and some are not observant by their education. Their parents did not give them the proper education. I, said the Rebbe, am always very friendly with him, with them. I try to help them, and I try to become closer with them in order that they should become closer to Yiddishkeit. And there are some people from elder Hasidim who say to me that maybe I'm not doing the right thing. And what I should do, I should rebuke them. When I see them, I should tell them, how come there's a problem with Shabbos? How come there's a, a problem with eating kosher and so on? And this is what the elder, some elder Hasidim tell me. So I went up to my father-in-law and I asked him what to do. Parenthetically, the Rebbe went into Yechidus, to the previous Rebbe, like a chosid. If you are talking about an example of a chosid, it was the Rebbe, a chosid of the previous Rebbe. And he went into his father-in-law to ask, although he had his mind set up, but he asked whether he was right or not. And the previous Rebbe answered him, a father has a child. And he commits to that child all the love that he has. All the love that he has is giving away to that child. But after that, there's another child. Now what's happening now? He already gave away the love to the first child. But the father gives now away all his love also to the second child. And what happens when there's a third child? The father and the mother, they give away all their love to the first child and to the second child and to the third child. And with God's help, the fourth and the fifth and so on. What happens if a child is not well, he has a problem with a hand, he has a problem with his head, he has a problem with a foot, he has a problem with any other limb. The parents do not abandon him. On the contrary, they love him even more. They take more care and better care and show him even more love than before. The Rebbe said, the previous Rebbe said, that's the same thing in the spiritual sense. A child has a problem with a hand. He doesn't put on film. A child has a problem with his head. He thinks what he's not supposed to. He philosophizes about things that are not correct and that disturbs his, his, his observance. He has a problem with his feet. He goes where he's not supposed to or a problem with any other limb. What do the, par what do the parents do? They love him even more. They love him even more. They show him all their love. And the Rebbe asked the previous Rebbe, and what should I do? Should I do what I did before? And the previous Rebbe said, you should do exactly what you did until now. As mentioned, the Rebbe told a story to two wonderful Hasidim, to the beloved Edelman and to the Beherschel Fogelman. And they would tell this story throughout their lives Baruch Hashem, they were meritorious to have long life. But they were told this, they would tell the story periodically throughout their lives.